Hey, can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? <laughs> hey, I don't know if you guys can hear me because I am on my um my laptop. I don't know why. When I schedule a stream, hey Ashley. When I schedule a stream, um, I guess I cannot use my phone. I don't know. Like, I, I cannot go inside my phone when I try to schedule a, a live stream. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Pearl. Hey, Olu. Hey, Mia. Hey, Connie. Hey, Roseanne. Hey, Carolyn. Hey, Felicia. Can, can you guys hear me? Because I'm using my microphone on um, the Mac. Let me see. OK, that's good. You guys can hear me. OK. So, baby, Cloud, what are you doing? <laughs> you see yourself? You're always naked. <laughs> you're at two bottom. You want to say hi to the ladies before I take you out? You want to say hi? Hi, ladies. All the ladies in there. <laughs> Smile at them. Say cheese. Okay. You got to go. You got to go. You got to go. Hurry up, honey. Honey. Okay. Hi, you guys. So I'm going to have some news for you guys. Um, I'm going to be trying to do like a craft fairs in the fall. And I want to do um, like I made this outfit in Photoshop. So today I'm just going to I print out all the pattern. I'm just going to do up to size eight. And I'm going to do two of each size. So I've been talking about this for a while. So for the, I'm gonna be planning for August to do a solo along with this. Um, yeah, so today we're just gonna be prepping the pattern. So I'm gonna prep everything so I can start sewing like maybe um, the first week of August. So you guys can, I'm gonna try to do like, like kind of like a live sewing and I'm gonna break this outfit down to probably like seven days. And we're gonna work on like the bodice for a day and then the skirt, the ruffle at the bottom and then the sleeve and then the placket and the button in the back. So you guys gonna learn how to button, um, even in border on the, the little um, bodice up here. So if you guys can't see well, um, it actually has some pumpkin embroidery on here. So these are gonna be ready to ship. And I have a, if you guys know that, you know, if you guys will sell at the market, you guys can request a, a square card reader. Make sure you guys have that. And I also see another credit wave on TikTok that they, um, they use, um, there's a lady that she made these little plaque that has their uh, QR code that can be scanned into like cash app or Venmo. And if you don't want to like a square card reader, because they're going to charge you a transaction fee. You can do a cash app or Venmo, um, so they could just send you cash that way. If so, then you have many options for your customer to uh, pay for your products when you are at the craft fair. Um, if you know, ju just don't take cash because you're gonna lose out on a lot of um, sales. And then I'm gonna be also linking like my Etsy shop with my Square. I'm gonna have Square and then Cash App and Venmo. Like I don't know whatever the because maybe I might not offer a cash app in Venmo yet because I want to link the Square Reader with my Etsy in case if they want, if they don't want anything that I have at the and, and if they see something like that they want to be personalized, they could probably order through Etsy so I can ship it to them later. That's my plan. Like I just to get customer, like local customer or like word out there that I have like like I could do handmade stuff or embroidery things. 
I'm gonna try to do that in the fall. So you guys are gonna be seeing all of that. Um, for now on, I'm gonna try to prep. I have two months. I see one that's coming up in the first week. I think October, something like first or second week of October. So I'm gonna try to get in like those time. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, you guys. Yeah, I, I got to uh, take him out. <laughs> oh, that that's good, Mia. I didn't know that. Um, I just use a generator to generate the QR code. And I see a lady on TikTok where she she has like a glow forge or something, and she made these like sign, this like acrylic sign. So I, I think I might order one of that. So like the customer could scan it. Yeah, if they want to pay through like cash app. But I'm going to be uh, writing down my plan. Like we're going we're gonna to work together today. So I'm going to write down my inventory, what I want to make for um, definitely, I'm going to be offering girl dresses. So this is going to be ready ship. If they don't sell, I'm gonna put them on my Etsy shop and then I'm gonna to try to sell on Facebook too. Like I'm in a couple of Facebook group. Well, not a couple, but there's only one that I know that um, I've been selling on. I'm gonna to try to put on that group too. And then I'm gonna to try to find some other Facebook group. So yeah, I have a plan of how I'm gonna sell these. <laughs> Cause I, I know like, like last time, actually we were talking that, you know, since I don't have a following yet, maybe people might not be, um, like I might have a hard time selling these if I'm gonna be uh, making them ready to ship, you know, or or they're already pre-made. But I feel that you know, since these clothes are gonna take a while for me, so I don't want to do made to order. So I'm gonna be uh, doing ready to ship. Hey Liz, hey T, hey Marisol, hey all you guys are here. Is Mary here? Hey, Mary. I didn't see you. Hi, Diane Robinson. <laughs> hey, you guys. So let's, um, okay, I have a little thing here. Okay, so if I'm gonna make this, let's talk a little bit about CPS IA compliance. So um, since I'm gonna be making these like ready to ship, I'm gonna be considered like a small batch maker because i'm going to be producing like it's i'm not produce like a lot but you know small batch mean you i think you have to produce less than seven thousand quantity or something i'm not going to produce seven thousand of these you guys and Mom? i'm using um Mom? what Could you yeah At you guys can but i'm not walking i'm busy i'm on live now i'm busy <laughs> i'm busy Five ounce and two. Ooh, Mary, Mary's making jam. So Mary, um, <laughs> that's awesome, Mary. Making anything from scratch. Hey, Don. So, okay. So back to the CPSIA compliancy. Um, I know that a lot of people uh, are confused with that. They have a group on Facebook. And I bought like their ebook. So if you guys are wanting to do like handmade clothing, buy their ebook. Um, you know, it's kind of hard. This this outfit has a button. It's hard to find compliance button. I, I was trying to look, but there was only one person that offered them, but they're um, pre order only. I didn't want that. Um, so I think I'm only gonna stick with wood wood button. I don't. I don't know if they're gonna need to be tested for lead or not, but since it's not plastic, I think if you guys know of like a compliant a button um, manufacturer or vendor, if not, then I'm just gonna go with the wood button that I found on Etsy. I think it should be safe. And I'm only adding one button. So the rest is cotton. So the cotton is a pretty safe fabric to use. All these are good like from Hobby Lobby, the fabric. So yeah, so what I do is I'm gonna write like the day of w when I purchased this fabric and then um, I have my tag made already. So I'm gonna be um, 
writing my special call on it, like my batch number, to let to to give me a reference to like you know when I sell this, I know that okay this reference number this this outfit already sold. So like later on, like I can track it if I need to. So that's the whole thing of like tracking with the PSIA compliancy. So you you guys need to go register like at the um, website called safergovernment.gov. The saferproduct.gov, yeah. Um, once you register them, they send you like a small batch number. You write that down or keep in your like wherever you guys keep all your file, your binder. I need to organize my binder, like my whole business. I just put everything, shove in like a folder. It's not organized. So I need to hurry up and like create that video for you guys so I can like, you know, organize all my, all my business uh, paperwork. I don't know. Because like, I just received an email from the state tax, whatever. I don't get it, you guys. I'm, I'm still new to all this. So like I was panicking on Friday. So I asked my husband to call my tax person on Monday to see if, like, how do I pay my taxes if I owe any? Because I, I don't know if I owe any. I got to I gotta check the website because they sent me an email to check my um, my whatever, like, state tax, see if I owe any state tax. I think I'm, I'm due, like, yearly for that if, if I have any pending. Oh, thank you, Mary. <laughs> Hey, pro, hey, bar. The vendor compliance. Oh, bar. Okay, so bar just gave out um, a book. Okay, so that book is, I, I haven't heard about that book, but um, the US uh, safety compliance, product safety compliance group, um, the lady that run, run the group, her name is called Misty Henry. She's really knowledgeable. Um, I just sent Nita over there and Actually, Nita probably understand more than me, so I've been getting some help from Nita. So if you guys have Angelus Blank and ARB Blinks, make sure you guys request um, the certificates to be on file because Angela and ARB, um, they already like test their whatever, like onesie outfits to be compliant. So you're gonna save that in your file that you know, you're know you using compliance um, product. So clothing needs to follow the FTC. FTC is like Federal Trade Commission. Um, you need to follow that regulation. It's just kind of like food safety. Like food safety has to follow like FDA. Clothing has to follow the FTC guidelines. So yeah. Hey Nancy. Oh, we have Bart and Mary. Bar Mary, you guys, <laughs> I do not make nothing from scratch, you guys. I don't really cook that much. I'm not a cook. <laughs> I don't know how to cook that well. So if you guys are interested, like, how to make, like, um, kind of like a mock-up like this, I think I'm going to have this display, like, when I do my my um, craft here. So I think it would be nice. Like, they get to see, like, a digital. <laughs> and I gave this a name. So this outfit's uh, going to be called Sienna. I went to Google and searched for like a bunch of fall name and this uh, name Sienna stand out to me. Like it kind of like, this kind of look like Sienna. I don't know <laughs> to me. So I picked this name now. I put fall 2021 um, because this, this is gonna be just for this fall. I think for next fall, I'm gonna do something different. It depends on how, how these outfits go. Um, it's my actual first time I'm gonna be sewing to sell. So. I'm a little bit nervous because I've been only embroidering shirts and I don't know how my sewing, well, I do know how to sew a little, well, I'm not that great, but I do understand pattern and I know how to sew. So hopefully um, these will turn out fabulous and that they will do well for me. <laughs> and yeah, so I will let you guys know about that like later, like when I do the, the fall, I'm gonna be registering for some fall markets. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Serena. Oh, how do you pronounce it? Like Serena, I don't know how to say that in Spanish. But I, I would say Serena, but maybe that's not Spanish. <laughs> hey, Nara. Oh, 
Oh, Barb. Yeah, but Barb, um, the book is good to have the information, but for Misty Henry Group, she guides you. And if you need the extra help, you can pay. The server is really expensive, so I only pay for the book, and I only ask for free advice there. Um, if you're like a person you need, like somebody to walk you through or do the work for you, um, she charged like a lot. So I probably just do it myself the best I can. Um, they're probably, as long as you do your best, I don't think FTC would be um, that strict and make sure that your stuff are like lead free and, um, you know, like try to use fabric that are like 100% cotton or like they have a flatter surface. Try to use all that. And don't do uh, sleepwear because sleepwear is like a whole other thing. Like I would never do sleepwear. So <laughs> that's not me. Like if you're going to do that, just buy ARB stuff. Cause ARB already like compliance and Angela. So if you're going to do like the baby gowns, just buy from Angela. And them. Like I would do that. Hey, Sierra. Serena, Serena. <laughs> okay, I think. Hopefully, I say that right. Hey, Sandy. Um, if you guys know my sister Liz, she's almost at two K. You guys, if anybody hasn't subscribed to Liz, go subscribe to Liz because when Liz reach five K, we're gonna make her do the twelve hour lives. She's gonna give us the twelve hour lives, and then once she reach ten thousand, she's gonna do. 24 hours. She already been practicing. <laughs> so I, I'm totally sure she's prepared for it. So you guys go subscribe to Liz, Nancy Blank, another of my friends, Nancy Blank, Myro Martinez. And then I just met a fairly new friend um, through YouTube here. She doesn't have any, I think she only have, I'm her first subscriber. Um, she reached out to me and she saw that I like sewing. So be, we became like buddy on Instagram. <laughs> We actually became really close after we chat for like a couple days and like we found out like we're um we're both born in Thailand, which which was like you know, we both have something in common. Um she's way older than me, but still like it was just kind of interesting that we found out <laughs> about each other, like where we were from. Um she's also Asian American too, so which was neat. And I'm gonna I'm trying to, pers she want to start YouTube. So I'm going to really try to persuade her to do the sew along with me. Like we're going to do this um, outfit from VFT. If you guys don't know VFT, VFT is a pattern company. You guys can use their um, pattern to make like physical product. You just can't sell their pattern. That's a no, no. Okay. So as long as you buy it and make your physical product, since you're a small batch maker, um, you're fine. Like they just won't let you like, you send their um, pattern to like a manufacturer to mass produce their garments. So if you're like a home store or like or for some for business and you want to produce a cup like a small batch of amount of um, their clothing, they're fine with it as long as you credit them. So their VTF pattern, okay. And if you guys want to do the solo, I'm gonna really try really hard to have my friend Sophia. Her name is Sophia, okay. Um, I'm gonna. Liz, if anybody can link um, Sophia's, I'm um, gonna, okay, this is how you, Sophia is called Pia Pumpkin Studio. If you guys can go and give her um, like a shout, well, not subscribe to her because she's fairly new, like she's really shy. So um, I'm trying to like have somebody, like if you guys wanna subscribe to her, um, I'm not gonna make you guys, but you know, please go show, show support to Sophia and encourage her to uh, do those so along with me because I want to have her like be on live with me like um like just how Nancy and Liz been doing and how Liz and myself like we've been doing it um so both of us can show our process and I'm gonna break the so along down so you guys can um Liz if you can if you can search for Pia P-I-A Pia pumpkin like just like the pumpkin studio on it should have like her little logo pumpkin and if like you can link it some somebody can link it like i will i, I want her to be surprised that she has um a couple subscribers <laughs> or as many as i can uh, give her right because she was just like shy that nobody's gonna watch her so i want um you guys to show her some love and encourage her or like if like 
comment on our first video so she can see that. Um, excitement tea. Yay, Liz. Thank you for finding her YouTube. Um, excitement tea. Yes. Do the so long with us. Um, I will link this pattern down. I forgot to link it down in my description, but I'll go back and link it again and then put on my um, discussion, like the, the post board, whatever, like the community board. So you guys can buy. This is a buy. You have to pay for this pattern. Okay, it's from Violet Fill Threads. I love Violet Fill Threads um, pattern. Their patterns are really well written and really well made. They're just uh, like a really popular brand. So I mean, company, whatever you want. To call it. It's not a brand, but like a sewing company. And you know, I was I was talking to my friend Sophia that hopefully one day when I get into pattern making, maybe me and her could come up with a company, a sewing company too. Hopefully, and we could come up with like patterns, just like Violet Filter is run by two, I think two friends. Um, they came together and create these patterns, and make this company. So hopefully one day me me and Sophia could do that. Like I'm trying to. Um, you know, like work my way and learn like uh, multiple string income, you guys, because you guys know that you guys cannot rely on like one um, income. So I'm trying to get into like more digital along with my physical because I know I cannot handle like a tons of physical. Um, it's it's hard because with physical, when you have little kids, you can't like push out as many orders unless you hire somebody. But with digital, you guys, it it's gonna roll over and over and over. So it's guaranteed that unless like you have to, but in the beginning, you guys have to work super hard. And then once um, your brand is out there or your company is out there, people know that you offer like great digital products. Um, it's just gonna be like a, like a domino effect. That's how I'm gonna like um, <laughs> compare it. <laughs> so yeah. So anyways, um, that's all in the future. Um, for now, I'm just gonna be working on embroidery, and you know, I'm gonna learn like the the. I'm not gonna say dirty, but like <laughs> the hard work, like with all my efforts and energy and everything. Like I'm gonna learn all the hardware, physical product first, and then slowly transition to adding like digital and doing my YouTube here. I'll share like my ideas, my thoughts, and you know what I'm doing. Um, if you guys see my post on, and I'm trying to get rid of tutu. I don't want to do tutu anymore. I think um, in the beginning, I don't know what I'm doing. So I just like did tutu because everybody was doing it and it was trendy. But I'm like, okay, I think I'm through with that. Like I probably would do tutorial on YouTube, but, but I don't want to offer that anymore. And I want, I want to do like the sewing, like garment sewing like this. So I'm going to try to do this for like, a year, two years, see how it goes, and then slowly transition to like add. Um, while I do my physical stuff, I'm gonna be working on my digital stuff at the same time, so so I can um, get that business going in a year. I'm gonna work really hard to get that business going in a couple of months. Um, digital is not easy, you guys. Um, unless you guys do those easy template where you guys go to Canva and just you know. Um, like whip up everything together by all the i mean i could do that i'm gonna i don't know it's hard to draw your own thing from scratch but i'm i'm gonna start like a like a seamless pattern um i don't know if you guys know what surface design is possibly one day i want to like have like a thousand or ten thousands of seamless pattern and maybe i could send to mia because mia has um let's talk about mia mia has a pattern I mean a fabric company now so like all my digital ideas I want to do like surface pattern I want to do like um sewing pattern and then I want to offer like um like digital stuff for like small business like for those of you that don't know how to do mock-up I'm going to try to do mock-ups and um I think those are the main three things that I really want to get into probably just those three um like do mock-ups and maybe like thank you cards and um, kids instruction cards, something like that for um, those small business like you guys that if you guys don't know how to like put up together like a car or like you're not like good with Photoshop or you don't have Canva, you just want to buy something fast for like two bucks or something. 
and print out your own card, whatever. That's in the works, you guys. It's gonna take me a long time, but I'm gonna slowly build that up while I run my physical store. <laughs> yeah. So if anybody know what surface design is, you guys can let people know. But surface, um, I I pay for a class and I haven't taken it, so I'm gonna be taking that. I'm gonna be. I have to schedule that. Like I have my iPad, you guys. I I don't know. I need to be on a routine because. I bought the digital planner and I did wrote everything down, but I'm not keeping up with it. I'm gonna try really hard to be disciplined, you guys. It's so hard to be disciplined. Um, so I need to kind of remove myself a little bit from, I'm sorry, Liz and everybody else. I'm gonna remove myself a little bit away from social media probably for like during the weekday, probably can only check. I'm gonna try to limit myself, only check once a day or maybe every other day. I'm gonna try to do every other day. I'm gonna try really hard to do every other day because that's kind of eating my time and I'm not putting time to do my videos or upload my videos. Like I, I have a tons of video that I need to um, do or I have some old one that I still need to edit. Oh my gosh, it's like it's like a never, like an endless um, task that I have to do. Yeah, Liz, I have to because I'm like, I've been just like um, on, I just feel like I've been on like social media too much. Um, I'm probably going to pop and just check in like there, here and there, but I really need to, um, like I, I wrote down what I have to do here and I didn't follow my plan, you guys. I only, and then the list just like got longer and longer and longer. So yeah, got to be uh, more disciplined now. So let's talk about Mia. Okay, so Mary, thank you for linking Mia. So let's talk about Mia. So Mia, like I was talking about surface pattern. Um, I was saying like, I want to pursue that for like a year now. And I, that, I bought that class. It's just, <laughs> it, that class is a lot. It's really intensive. And like, like myself, don't know anything about Illustrator or Photoshop. I only know a little bit, but I'm not that great. So learning that class is, um, she made that class for like people, like people that don't know nothing, but still like it's a long, that class is pretty long and you have to like take your time. And then if you, if you're like me, you know nothing, it's probably gonna take you a long time, but you have to keep up. I think I didn't keep up with it. So that's the thing. Um, I wanna pursue that. So like Mia one day when I come up with all my fabric design and if I want, um, uh, a fabric line, I could probably send it to you to make me a fabric line because in the future I want to have like a physical store so I could offer like, oh, like, look, I did this pattern, you know? <laughs> and whatever, like I, I could do that with Mia, like me and Mia could work together, right, Mia? Like collaboration. <laughs> so I'm so happy that you did that, Mia. So now I have a resource from Mia. So Mia's gonna be my fabric resource. And yeah, so it's good that we all do something like like a little bit of everything. So um, like I, I'm not gonna get into like the fabric printing thing. Um, that's Mia. Mia's doing that. So like, but I want to design it so I can link up with Mia like later on when I develop all this portfolio. Yes, Marisol, it it is. Um, also, I'm getting rid of tutu. I found myself not enjoying. I I love like how the tutu look and like when I finish it, but I just don't love the process enough. And I I want to pursue something better or you know what I've been um, wanted to do for a while, and I just never train or been disciplined to do it. Like at least thirty minute. Like I need to say thirty minute a day. Like. Just 30 minutes. If I cannot do an hour, 30 minutes, at least 30 minutes a day, I think it's going to add up. So I need to be disciplined. <laughs> I know that there's a, they say that it, uh, for you to develop that habit, you need to do it for 21 days straight. And so I need to be, <laughs> if I take a break, I feel like I'm not going to do it again, you know? So I'm going to try to uh, be disciplined, do 30 minutes for 21 days, see if that habit sticks with me. So uh, 
try really hard, you guys. I'm try really, really hard. Anyways, so let's um let's do this. I'm gonna be uh prepping this. So I I don't know if I want to offer a size ten. Size ten is, is pretty big. I don't know. I feel like I only want to do a size two to six. But then I have bigger kids too, so I might. I think I'm just do to eight because I know some older kids might want to wear their dress too. So I'm just gonna do to eight and how it goes, and then like if anybody like from the market want like size ten, I don't have it. They could probably custom order from my Etsy store, and then I can make them that. So let's just start cutting. I think I um I talk too much, so let's try to focus here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna prep all the sides because I'm gonna pre um sew all this. Cause I feel like I'm not super busy on Etsy. Like I only have a couple order here and there, so I feel like someday I'm wasting my time away. So with this uh, ready to ship item, like I could sew like a little bit a day. So by the time two months is up, I could have um like an inventory to to go to the craft fair. Um, any of you planning to do a craft fair or market, farmer's market or something in the fall? Because the fall is like everybody's shopping for like the holidays. So this is a great time. And right now is a good time to prepare for those holiday sales and even on Etsy. Yeah, okay, Mia. Um, I did talk to Angela about that. I'm going to try to bundle them, Mia. So I just need to find box. I The reason I haven't posted them for sale is because I don't. I haven't found the box. <laughs> I threw all the box away, so I got to go to Walmart or Lowe's to find the box uh, to ship things in. Um, I'm going to bundle them together so I can get rid of them faster. I'm going to try, um, like, all the new ones. I'm going to ask for, like, the price that I pay for. Or probably I give like if you buy like the whole thing, probably like um, because I don't want to do individual. It's probably gonna be too much for me because I want to get rid of them fast ASAP. So I'm gonna do um bundling, and I don't have that many pink color, but I have some. But um, a lot of them are like like the other color. Like I have more darker color, so I I will put it up. But I have a tons of ribbon, so I need to get rid of them. So yeah. Ooh, T, you are going T. Let us know how that go after you do it. Like, um, <coughs> if you guys are on TikTok, share that. Share how your market stall goes or share how you display. Uh, T, what are your preparations? Have you, like, made any preparations? Write down what you want to bring to go sell. Yeah. Oh Mary, um, I have done it in 2017. Um, I think I I think I made an okay amount of money, but the thing is, this time I'm I'm gonna be different this time because um, last time I was selling paper craft and there was another vendor selling paper craft. So since I'm doing, um, I'm bringing like my work out there, but then I'm gonna be um, bringing like um, I'm gonna try to bring these and. Um, I'm going to have my customer actually order on Etsy. Like, because with the square reader, they can pay there and then it will link to Etsy and they can buy the custom order and then I can make it from my house and ship it to them. So, like, I'm going to bring the, I'm going to tell them, like, oh, I offer custom t shirts too. Like, if you guys don't see, like, I'm going to have some pre made. I'm not going to do any pre made um, embroidery shirt. I'm going to do a sublimation. I just got my sublimation. Probably just gonna do some pre-made sublimation shirt, and then I, I could let the customer know that I can do custom if they want to add their kid's name, and then create a listing there, and then link the Square Reader with the Etsy listing so they can pay that on Etsy, and then I have their address so I can ship um, to them. I'm gonna see how that works. I'll let you guys know. That's like super cool. I talked to Rebecca, 
she she did a craft fair. She she told me that it could be done, but she hasn't done it. So I think I'm gonna request a square reader and test it out with somebody, you know, maybe my friend or someone or my neighbor. I'm gonna try with my neighbor and see if like if she wanna buy some things. If not, I'm gonna test with my sister. So I'm gonna test it out. And I will let you guys know how that works, if it actually works. Yes, T, so try to maximize your sales. So that's a good way to maximize your sales because, um, you know, like you can't take this humongous machine and I don't know, I don't know, I want to sit there and do personalized. I just want to sell and talk to a customer and tell, tell them what I'm doing, like what I have, what I can do. So if they don't see any pre-made things they like, then um, they could put a custom request. I'm going to tell them what kind of custom I can do. So that way they can just buy through Etsy and I could ship it later. I know that Etsy take um, some fees. If you do the custom listing, they're going to do uh, 5% and the 3% transaction with the square reader fees too. That's probably going to be about 9%, but I think it's still totally worth it because it's easier for me that way. Like everything it's inside of Etsy. Like when I do my tax, everything's there. I don't have to like, Oh, you know, like pull up all these paper from everywhere on these invoice. Um, because I've been doing that with Facebook because on Facebook, when I sell on Facebook, um, I have to pull all my invoice from the PayPal and then I have to, uh, um, uh, put that into my, um, I probably later have to bring them in. I don't know how I'm going to bring them, but I probably have to manually type it into my quick book because I have quick book for my bookkeeping. So that's why I try to do one place. So you guys don't have to like, oh, I have this invoice here or I have this piece of paper written with the customer name and air, paper is everywhere, you know. Try to streamline or simplify your, um, how you take payments so you have, that's why I, like, I don't really wanna do cash app or Vimo. I was thinking of doing that, but then, like if I do that, then I, I'm not gonna report those because those are like, kind of like, um, they're not um, tax. Like you can say those are friends and family because they're gonna send it to you kind of like friends and family because uh, they don't take a fee for those. So I don't know. I will, I'm gonna try just do the square reader for now and just, I probably will like add uh, like the fee, integrate the fee into um, my product. So it will cover the fees. So it will be a little bit more expensive on Etsy and when I sell on the market. But when I sell on a Facebook uh, group, it's going to be a little bit like a couple dollars cheaper. Just a couple dollars um, to cover the fees. Because you do want to make a profit too, right? So you got to um, make it like a couple dollars more than your what you're selling. If you're selling, like if they're paying like Venmo or Cash App. Yes, Mary. So that's what that's why I'm gonna do this. Um, I know people keep telling me like if you do ready to ship, you're gonna be end up with inventory, but I'm gonna have a plan B, okay? Um whatever doesn't sell by 2022, I'm gonna have a clearance sale. So I'm gonna be like discounting them like 50% off of my retail price. So yeah, it's kind of like um uh, like fast fashion that you guys go buy from Walmart or, you know, like uh, Forever 21, like after the season's over, whatever they don't sell, they clearance it out or sell it to like Ross, whatever, you know? So I'm going to have just, we're just kind of like retail like that, you know? But I, I do believe that RTS is way better because you can ship the same day or next day. And if I do made to order, you guys, it's going to take me two weeks, two to three weeks. To have this made, it's not easy. So, like, I can break down my time every day a little bit and build my inventory that way. So when I sell it, I just uh, send it out, like, same day or next day. Because I, as much as I love embroidery, uh, it's getting onto me, like, um, just trying to crank out order, like, manage my time and crank them out. And we're ready to go. It's easy easier that way so embroidery is faster like you can make the shirt in like an hour or two hours but the, these outfits is not going to take me like one hour two hours it's going to take me quite a bit 
So I need to um, like just do a little bit every day to build that inventory. So T, since you're doing a craft fair, what are you planning to take it to the craft fair? What are you planning to sell? Um, after I cut this out, we're going to make a list. I'm going to make a list with you guys. What I plan to do or bring to the market. Oh, and I'm going to create a side chart for this too. Make sure you always have a side chart because I know that these are uh, true to size, like this pattern, but then just make sure you have the measurement because I don't know if it's actually true to size, but um, it's been like my daughter been wearing, if my daughter wears size 5T, um, 5T fits her. So I'm pretty sure it's true to size, but just in case, like have the measurement chart so customer can see like what's the like chest measurement because this is a fitted outfit. It's not t-shirt material. So I need to have that measurements so of like when I'm doing the market, I'm going to have a display. Yeah, Mia, um, I am, I'm going to put it on Etsy. I'm going to put it on Etsy too. I'm going to do it on Etsy and then whatever sell, I'm going to replenish it. And then whatever doesn't sell, I'm going to take it to the market. I am going to put this, but I, I need to make one sample first. I don't want to like add the mock-up because I want the person to see how it look um, like real life. So I'm going to make one and then take a picture of it. And then I'm going to be making every day, like sewing every day until I have the inventory. And yeah, so if any of you like looking for like a fall uh, girl's outfit, yeah, uh, check my shop out like in October. I think hopefully by maybe by September or middle of September, I'm going to be having all of them listed. Like for now, I need to build that inventory before I list anything on Etsy because I don't want it to... Um, to have you guys to wait like three weeks. I'm gonna, so I already have it ready to ship. So this one is see the I'm gonna show you guys a fabric. Let's, let's go look at fabric first. <laughs> okay, look at it, you guys. Look at this fabric. I'm trying to find this color, but I couldn't find this color at Hobby Lobby. So I went with the orange. Do you guys think that the orange is too overpowered? Like the even the I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, it's probably too late now because I don't want to change it. I think I should still be okay. Hopefully. Um yeah. So this is a little bit um Kind of a little bit see through. So I'm gonna have um I'm gonna use um what is it called? Cotton lawn. I don't know if you guys know what cotton lawn is. It's a really soft cotton. Um and I'm gonna use it as a lining. Um yeah, so this one has lining. If I don't use that, I'm just gonna use the same fabric. Maybe I just use the same fabric. Probably just use the same fabric because the cotton lawn is white. I don't want the white to be showing. So I think I'm just gonna use uh two of these as the front and the back the lining yeah so sienna is the first collection um this one be like kind of more like fall punkinish and then i have the next one um let me show you guys so i love this other one this one um I thought of the name Wheatley because I I was searching for names and um, this just remind me, like it's it's like kind of like a, a kind of like it has some wheat here so I don't know I'm gonna call it Wheatley I guess this dress I don't know I'm gonna use this thing pattern I'm gonna try to look at VTF see if there's other pattern um, I'm gonna I'm gonna offer two styles it's gonna be different I don't want to do this thing pattern like um, for both. And then I'm gonna get some Christmas fabric too. So I'm gonna do some Christmas dresses. So yeah. Why is it 
Ugh. Stop lagging. <laughs> it's lagging because I think um my um my room don't have great connection because I'm kind of away from the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is all the way in the living room. My room's like really far back. So yeah. Um, I think I'm just gonna use the same fabric narrow because it's, um, I don't wanna go buy another fabric. So I just thought about it. People just use the same, yeah. And the the bodice is pretty tiny. So I'm just gonna use the same. I have cotton lawn already, but then the cotton lawn is really light. Um, I probably just use the same fabric. Yeah, Joanne, um, I don't know, but I like VFT. VFT is true to size. Whatever my daughter wear from Walmart, they will wear um, the same size with VFT pattern. But just in case, because um, all kids are different size. So um, it's good to have the measurement. So like customers see exactly, because if they're buying at, at the craft fair, um, they might buy for their... Um, Granddaughter. Well, the thing is, if they're buying for their granddaughter or their like their child, and their child's not there. That's the thing. Like the the pair need to know their chest measurement because these are by the chest measurement. So that's the thing. Some parents do not know their child chest measurement. So that's the thing. Like um, they probably don't know. So they probably like go buy whatever size. Um, the kids is wearing like from Walmart Target. So which I wouldn't, I would not know how to advise that if their kids not there and they cannot measure their kids chest. I don't know. Probably on good faith that they, if their kid wear seven, size seven, size eight, whatever. Oh, see this one has a size seven, like at the store, they probably don't have like a size seven. So yeah, that's the thing. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know how I'm going to go about that. If customer asked me that, you guys, I don't know. Because they have to know their child's chest measure. Or, yeah, they don't know that I, I cannot tell them that. Because I I don't know, like, which size would be best for their child. I probably always encourage them to uh, size up. But then with the thing with these outfits, like they're going to buy it to do photo shoot, right? Or to wear for fall. Like why would they want to upsize? Like they probably wanted to fit that child that particular fall. So I don't know. See, that's the thing. I don't, I'm not sure you guys. Yeah, that's the thing. Really, Jeanette, um, I think that some of them are small. Actually, I really like VTF because it fit my daughter perfectly. Like, I didn't have to do any, like, um, altering um, between sizes. I know some people do, but then that, that would be more like custom sewing, and I'm not doing custom sewing. So the person just have to know their child's size, like, on like I'm just gonna trust that they're gonna chose the right size and if they don't know the child measurement then I can't do that for them you know I'm just gonna provide that measuring chart and the thing is you guys since I'm doing our, our RTS do you guys think that um I have to do um refunds like I don't do refunds for a custom but with RTS do you guys do refunds? What if like they buy the wrong size and they want to ship it back? I don't know. I don't know. See, that's a that's a whole thing with refunds because I do custom. I don't do refunds. So let me guys let, let me know about that. For those that have been doing RTS, do you guys um, let customer exchange your refunds? That's a whole thing. Like I I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. So I, I need as much as help or our thoughts from you guys for those of you that have been doing it already i know some of you've been 
sewing, like ready to ship stuff. So let me know. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny, size two. Um, I'm going to back this up. Of like, I know that, um, um, who is it? Amber, Amber used the clear vinyl. I don't, that, that's a good way to, but I'm going to do what I'm taught in fashion school. I'm going to use the hard cardboard and I'm going to flip it over like this. So I'm going to, I'm going to have the full body. So I, so I don't have to like lay anything on the full. I hate cutting on the full, you guys, unless it's a knit it, and if it's a really big piece. Yeah. But Mm, I like to cut like the whole bodice. Yeah, so I'm gonna trace it the other side and cut the whole thing from um, the hard um, backing board manila um, paper that I bought. So I have it in the tube over there, but I'm not gonna show you guys that because it's still in the box. <laughs> I haven't opened it. Oh, uh, thank you, Juana. Yes, T. That's why I don't do adult. Like, if I do adult, I only can do custom. I will not do adult because adult are, like, very sized. And most of the time, they always come bigger because, because you can, like, um, like, kind of blend the size together to make it fit your customer. I just don't like that. And what adult is like a whole different thing because adult has all different shape body. I don't know. I don't want to deal with that. I only want to work with kids. <laughs> kids outfits is uh, more true to size and um, they're more like boxy, kind of squarish um, since they don't have a chest like us adult. So with adult, they have the chest. So they need this part to be fitted, right? And you have to do darts. And I mean, kids, they have darts too, but the dart probably is not as effective as an adult, adult woman, anyways. Okay, T, that's a good idea, yeah. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Like, even at the vendor fair that I'm going to be doing, um, that's why I'm going to bring the measurement chart. So... The customer must know the child's chest or like, since th this is might be a little bit forgiving because the, the most fitted part is the chest up here. So the person needs to know the chest because the whole dress just gonna um, like flare out like that. So it's a, like a gather skirt. It's like more like a tunic kind of skirt. So it's open like this. So you don't need the waist to fit. It's at the chest. The chest needs to fit. Yeah. So that's why I love this. I'm trying to choose really easy patterns that will look nice. So I don't, I don't want to, like, do pattern that has, oh, like, a lot of things and add so many embellishment. So this outfit is just really simple, you guys. I'm just doing, like, a little embroidery pumpkin on it. And then I just use the orange and the pumpkin fabric to do the whole outfit. That's it. And the back just a button. So if you guys want to sew this with me and learn how to do Bunsen on your machine, you guys can follow along. Um, I'm going to try to do it the month of August so I can get this out of my way. Um, you know, I have some customer asked me on Etsy, how come I'm not listing like back to school? Um, I don't know. I just can't keep up, you guys. Um, it's not that I have tons of sale, but. Like I have so many ideas, too many things. Uh, I'm gonna do sublimation. I'm just worn out. Um, so whoever like cut, like asked me on Etsy, I'm just like, oh, like if I could do, like if I have the stuff, I would do the custom for you. Like I don't want to do the listing. Like I just don't want to add a new listing, you guys. I'm just like have so many things going on. And if I'm gonna do the fair, um, I'm just gonna keep my shop like that just whatever they say they're by there like if they don't see anything they message me and if if i could do it i'll just do it but yeah i missed out on some sale because they've been asking for back to school but i'm like uh, I, don't, I don't know if i have time to be putting that because i'm so focused on the holiday it's approaching fast you guys two months two months is fast so yeah 
Um, oh, Joanne, VTF is Violet Field Thread. It's a um, pattern company. So you see, so I call it VTF because it's called Violet Field Threads. That's the company of the pattern that I'm using. So I love this one, and I love LLK. LLK stands for Little Lizard Cake. It's also another pattern coming that I love. Like, I love the clear instruction, their photo, and just their pattern. Like, because they fit my kids really well. So. Um, RTS is ready to ship. Yeah, T got it. T, T know all the uh, terminology because T have been making children clothes. And T just have great news. Like, this is a tip for you guys. Because T, she's been posting all her work on Instagram. And she just got contacted by, by a, a local um, business to offer her baby um, clothing in their store or whatever she sells. Um, they should do bunnies and baby apparel too. So, yeah, you guys never know. That's why I'm going to be, when I do all this, uh, you guys will see my Instagram, my TikTok, and be bombarded with all these outfits. And maybe and even my process. In my YouTube videos, I'm gonna be doing a live so long. Like I'm gonna bombard all my <laughs> YouTube, but not YouTube, like all my social media with it. So a tip for you guys, keep posting. You guys never know who's looking, who's watching. You guys never know, okay, you guys? So keep doing that and help your business grow. Um, I haven't got any gig or any um, contact yet because I haven't been posting my work. I've been swamped with um, just trying to keep up with my Etsy order. And and then each time, oh, you guys, I'm just so frustrated because I want to offer more design on my Etsy, but I'm trying to uh, fulfill the already the order that's already there. And then I have all this plan for market and I have to take care of my kids. I'm so frustrated. So like, I'm not gonna add any more new things on my Etsy yet. Like I haven't done anything new for since March, I think. March, April, May, June, July. Oh my God, five months. I did not put anything up, anything new. So I found a way to, uh, you know, like last time I did a digital market for you guys where I had to, uh, use the little wand to clean my image of um i found a way on umbrellas you guys i'm gonna i'm not gonna share it today with you guys but i'm gonna do a tutorial it's just gonna try to do like a quick tutorial so i don't have to embroider nothing um i need to do that i know a lot of you guys been begging people have been begging for that videos and angela encouraged me to do it and totally i want to do it but just you guys i still have more videos like i, I know i promised pearl that um ruffle bummy ruffle diaper cover <sighs> Just tons of things, you guys. Tons of things. Um, my brain is like, I don't know. I'm just overwhelmed, you guys. <laughs> um, oh, good night, Marisol. Thank you for dropping by, Marisol. <laughs> yes, you vet. That's what I'm not going to do. I have to be really professional. Like, I have to be a really professional seamstress. I have to be really good. And, I, like, I, like, I will not do adult until I'm really, really good, you guys. I have to feel super confident. Like, I have to work with different size, like, kind of volunteer to do, like, things for people first before I actually offer to sew and charge a tons. Because with all the experience and knowledge that I'm going to go through, I'm going to charge that custom outfit, like, a lot of money okay but for now i don't have the experience yet so i'm not gonna do that because i don't want the headaches i don't want people to be uh complaining blah 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 and then i cannot solve the problem right so maybe in the future like all this when i build my digital when i build all this maybe 10 years 15 years from now i'm super old and like i'm like a freaking old lady um and have all these knowledge experience then i can um, do that for people and charge tons of money for it and only do custom because my professor um, when I went to fashion school like before COVID she only do uh, wedding wedding clothes and you guys guess what she charged 10,000 per client for uh, depend on what they want but the most expensive is up to 10,000 and she probably only have like 10 20 clients per year 
because usually it takes, she told me like it takes about two years to work with a client. So she doesn't need like a whole lot of clients. It's probably 10, 20. She already made a tons of money doing just bridal um, outfits. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to do that until I have the expertise, the experience, and a lot of years of, you know, backgrounds before I work with adults because adults is just too picky and they are like different size. So I'm not going to stress myself when I'm an old lady and I have more time and I have my, um, my digital stuff, like income coming in and I don't have to worry about finance. Then I can like put all my focus on that. And all my kids is already out of my house and whatever, you know, I have all the time. Then I can be that professional seamstress and, doing custom stuff for people and I'm going to charge them hundreds and thousands of dollars. Yeah. And I can have that time to do that. But yeah, this is all building toward that you guys. <laughs> so hopefully on YouTube, you guys can see me like 15 years from now, 10, 20 years from now. Um, hopefully that dream, like hopefully I'll, I'll get there. Like with all the amount of sewing I'm going to be doing here with you guys. So long, yeah, and it's good for me to look back 20 years. Oh, my gosh. Like, I'm just so excited for YouTube because you, if you guys haven't started YouTube, start because 20 years from now, you guys, you guys can see how much growth you guys have come. And 20 years from now, I can say, y'all, I'm living my dream. <laughs> like, look where I start. Look at all my ugly video and all my, <laughs> like, video that's not professional. Because right now, I just use whatever I have. Like, my video is not professional. So hopefully 20 years or even 10 years from now, it's going to be more professional. Like, all the YouTube that start, like, in 2007, look at them. They, they can reflect back. Um, look how I came from 20 years, 10 years. Yeah, I want to do that. So, yeah. Oh, jo Joanne, uh, Joanne uh, Carmona, what links are you, uh, are you asking about the pattern? I will put the pattern link after the live because I forgot, I totally forgot, but I have some link. I have Mia's, um, and Liz already linked it too. So I have Mia's um, fabric and then um, I don't know if Liz know how to go find this particular pattern, but it's on the Violet Field Threads. They also have an Etsy and they have their own website. So if like, I don't know if Liz would know how to link this because I don't, but you can technically search on Google. Um, this, this pattern is called Poppy. It's called the, the name of it is called Poppy. Um, I named my uh, outfit Sienna, but you know, I, I don't want to use their name Poppy. So my outfits, uh, the name is called Sienna. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Janie. Oh, yes, Jenny. Yes, I knew it. Like um, that term they say, you can do anything your mind puts. Like, I, I believe that. Um, if you guys are afraid to start YouTube or start anything, you guys just have to take that first step. Like, like I keep saying, just do it. Just do it, you guys. Um, the more... You think, look at it. I've been wanting to do this for the longest time, guys. I just want to cry right now because I thought about this since 2011, but I didn't know where to start. So I start with crafting, like a scrapbooking. Like, I'm just so glad that there's so much more video now, so much more help, and that um, I can research more on the internet and understand and, you know, help myself. But in 2011, when I started YouTube, I already wanted to do sewing, but I didn't know where to go. I didn't know what I'm doing. So I start off with um, the crafting community. And even in 2017, there was a lot of videos already. I still didn't take the plunge because, first of all, I didn't have the support that I have now. I think my husband wasn't on board yet. <laughs> but now he is. So... First of all, you and your spouse or whatever, your family, but even if they don't, um, 
even if they don't, I think I think I I I'm just like I don't want to say the word loser, but I think I was just too afraid because I keep wanting my husband to be there for me, <laughs> like gonna help me as a backbone. Yeah, so I was just afraid. But then now, if if my husband like he he's there with me, like uh, mentally, uh, he's not gonna do the physical stuff um, because he just don't like to cry. But he's there mentally, um, doing all the back work with me, like helping me understand all these tax and all these things. But yeah, you really need um, somebody to support. Like if you, like if you're not married or don't have, like at least, like a friend. If your parent doesn't support you, or doesn't believe in you, or have a community like this, like we have this small community, like the night owls, like Liz, Nairo, um, all of those girls. They always encourage me. Like if when I share an idea with them, they'll say, go for it, do it. You know, <laughs> always uplifting. Um, find your own people, you guys. If you guys don't have like family, nobody that believes in you or nobody that um, think that you can do it because a lot of people who don't do business, they don't understand business. And w the moment you share an idea with them, they kind of say like, you know, like what if it doesn't work out? That's why I have plan B. Like I, I have my plan B already. <laughs> so if it doesn't work out, I have plan B. Um, with business, you must have plan B, plan C, and plan D. Like make sure you guys have all those lined up, because in case plan A doesn't pan out, you know. So make sure you kind of have everything lay out. But the first thing is just do it. Don't think too much too. Like you can have plan B along the way while you're, you're already doing plan A. And then when you get to plan B, you can like work along like plan C. So, but just don't wait too long. Um, people always say it's never too late, but I wouldn't want to wait until I'm 90 to start, you guys. <laughs> 90 years old, that would be like uh, uh, too long, you guys. Um, time is ticking. So pursue that dream right now. It's now or never. Because the longer you wait, um, yeah. Like like I was telling my husband, there was a guy I, I heard on the radio. He was 90 years old. He just had his bachelor degree. Like, and he graduated at 94 years old. Um, I don't know. Like, what are you going to do with that bachelor degree? I mean, I think he just want to fulfill that dream. But I feel like, yeah, like he just met like a bench, like his dream, like of getting his bachelor, but he probably can do much with it, like just finish his bachelor degree and that's it, fulfill that dream. And then, you know, your life is already done at 94, I guess, because <laughs> 94 is like, I don't know. I want to relax. I don't want to, I don't want to do anything at 94, guys. I'll probably like have Alzheimer or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. So, um, Nancy, thank you. It's called Violet Field Thread. Um, the pat this particular pattern is called Poppy Violet Field Thread. So Violet it has the uh, the e at the end. V i o l e t t e. Yeah, Jenny. Give us that advice. Preach to all the young people. Like, oh, see, I've been waiting, Jenny. Like, I when I was 21, I already thought of this. I didn't pursue it. Look, I wait till I'm already 32. And like, my time is not up yet. Like, I'm still young at 32, but still. Like, if I wait any longer, when I reach 60, guys, all that time, I could be working on my skills, building up my experience. Building my brand already, building my YouTube already. Yeah. So don't don't wait, you guys. Because you only have one life to live, one lifetime. Okay. So if you wait till you're like 90 years old, then yeah. I wouldn't advise you to start anything at 90 then, unless you wanted to, like just to fulfill that goal. But 90, like I don't want to be building a business at 90, you guys. <laughs> yeah, today I'm preaching for you guys. For those of you, my channel, like, um, sometimes I'm kind of be preaching to you guys. So if you guys don't like um, to listen to me to preach, uh, I'm kind of sorry. 
I um because this channel is all about uh, building your business, um, building your experience, um, building yourself up. Um, and don't let fear get in the way. That's going to be my slogan. Do not let fear get in your way. Uh, I've been, I think because I, because I watched Angela, that Angela really inspired me. Like, I think Angela was the kind of like the catalyst, if you guys can call that, going to push me out of that. That Zoom, like I, I was just afraid of all these rule regulation. What I need to do, I never took the step, you guys. And I got overwhelmed and just stopped myself. Like stop there. But now I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna figure things out along the way. And you don't have to know everything to start, you guys. You just need to have the motivation, the drive, and an idea make sure you have an idea too don't just like like do whatever <laughs> have an idea if you don't know anything they kind of explore around before you start like kind of explore um look around test things out or watch some youtube video to give you some ideas if you never started business and you want to do something for yourself yeah kind of Look around YouTube, Facebook, social media. Hey, Pa Lor. Yes, Pa. I am Mong, Pa. Um, if you guys don't know, um, yeah, last time I was wearing like my Mong Princess hat. So the Liz is calling me a uh, Mong Princess. <laughs> yeah, so Pa, I am Mong. Um, yeah. Are you new here, Pa? I think this is the first time I see you. So hello, if you're new here. Oh, Pa, do you do uh, machine embroidery? Yeah, I don't think I see many Hmong, but I know that there's, I know a couple ladies on Instagram. Well, not a couple, I only know one. And I know there's a couple Hmong girls on Angela's group that do embroidery too, and they were all inspired by Angela. So yeah, that's I'm really thankful. I think Angela's like the, the catalyst that kind of pushed me out of that comfort zone. So thank you, Angela. And I'm just so happy, like Angela been like following me, liking my uh, TikToks. <laughs> like I'm surprised. And then Angela even, um, like I'm so honored that Angela has said in her uh, last video, like at the end, <laughs> she was like, Zoa, why are you? not live <laughs> i need somebody to watch <laughs> i know like I, I keep on going live on tuesday morning but i haven't i didn't do it last week angela was like begging <laughs> i thought that was funny <laughs> yeah so if you guys haven't watched angela go follow angela and watch that last video um yeah angela was just i'm just so honored um that angela um it's really down to her and like i don't have that many following yet but she's still like um kind of like put my name out there like once in a while um so i'm just thankful that you know angela's just really down to her and she's really supportive of all of us that are starting from scratch you know like we don't know anything um and i like that about angela like i'm gonna be um like that to you guys too in current because i just step out of that comfort zone and pursue my my dream now so if anybody's still having second thoughts just do it okay that's gonna be my slogan right just do it just do it you guys don't think too much okay so i um i cut two two pattern out <laughs> so i'm doing size 2t i'm cutting them out first and then, whoops, okay, so for this, I have to join it. Some of the pattern, you have to join them because of the little two dots. So I'm gonna look into, um, I don't know if you guys follow this on Instagram. There's a, I think I'm gonna link them down next time. Um, they have like an overhead gear. If you guys are looking to do like overhead filming, it's a little bit pricey, but, I want to do that so like you guys can see me overhead when I sew. 
I'm just gonna put it over my sewing machine like that and then have the camera, like I'm gonna tether the camera down here. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I need my husband to help me figure that out because I wanna use, I don't wanna use my webcam anymore. I wanna use this camera as like a live streaming camera. So, because I'm planning for the future of my uh, YouTube, I wanna do like um, weekly sew along. Um, I see this lady, if you guys haven't followed this lady, go follow her. Her name is called So So Live. Um, she do weekly sewing. And I love that. She's a teacher. I think she's a home ec teacher. Uh, she teaches sewing, so she's really good at teaching. I want to do that. Um, that's one of the things that I want to pursue, like that, which is great for, for me to practice my teaching on YouTube here with you guys. And uh, I'm going to link that um, overhead uh, gear if any of you like want to do like overhead tutorial, you know, it's a little bit pricey, but I think it's totally worth it. And I will show you, like, I'm going to be like your, your tester. I'm going to be testing all those equipment and even testing my overhead and how I'm going to tether it to my, my, my laptop so I can do live streaming. I don't know how to do that yet, but I'm going to tell my husband to help me watch like tons of videos and going to figure it out. So if anybody like in the future want to do like live streaming, sewing, it's kind of like those people that do live stream gaming, but it's going to be called live sewing. So we all could sew together like weekly because I r really need to um, start my sewing because I've been, I've been on here too much. You guys, I need to be on over here. I haven't been over here for like ages because my tutus are not selling because I'm not focusing on tutu. So I haven't done so many tutu, and I, I miss my sewing machine. I miss all my little babies over here. Um, I haven't named them yet, but I'm going to start naming in all of them. But I, I haven't named this one, but I named my heat press only. <laughs> so my heat press has a name, but, but I miss all these babies. I haven't done anything on them. Uh, pa Lore, I do have TikTok. So if you go on my description, Pa, all of my social media is linked um, down the bottom. Um, I'm not too active on them, but I will show like snippet of things I'm working on here and there on TikTok. You guys add me and then I'll add you guys back. If you guys are on TikTok, I want to see like how you guys do your thing too. Like if you guys do things, share little snippets of what you do or just little daily life that you guys are doing like you guys want to share on tiktok because tiktok is a good way to share little snippets clip of what you're doing yeah joanne <laughs> thank you for saying that joanne um yeah i hope i can inspire um you all um that's what i want to do i want to be an an inspiration because angela inspired me and i want to pass that on so like like I passed that on to somebody and you know, they get their business going, they get out of that fear and then they become the inspiration. How do you say the inspirator <laughs> or the motivator, you know, they become that because look, Angela instilled that in me. Now I'm going to, now I'm able to get out of that fear and um, inspire you guys. And then I hope that that inspire you guys. So you guys can inspire another. So we keep that domino chain going and help out those that you know always stuck in the fear never pursue the dream like they have all these dreams but they're scared okay so we're gonna uh, beat that catalyst that motivator that inspirator for them if it doesn't have to be a business it could be for anything that you ever want to pursue in life that you're so afraid of like i still have many things it doesn't have to be business related <laughs> my husband's here. Hey, Pia. Oh, thank you, Pia. Yeah. There was a YouTube. <laughs> oh, Pa, you just joined Angela's group. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to read um, all the chat. I'm trying. Okay. I speak too much. Let me go back. Let's go back a little bit. Oh, see. Uh, Pa, I'm teaching my friend Liz. Liz is my sister from another mother. <laughs> and uh, she's learning Hmong. Look, she's saying, Nha Zhong, <laughs> Nha Zhong Liz. So Nha Zhong means hi, guys, in my language. Uh, I don't see my friend 
uh, Sophia here tonight. I think Sophia might be missing. So Sophia, if you're missing out, hopefully you see this. Yeah. Uh, pa, I am from uh, California, uh, capital of California. I think I've been staying in like Sacramento. Like this is where a lot of Hmong people is from. So where are you from too, Pa? Maybe we can link up if you're like in this era, if you're in Sacramento era. Maybe we could do like collaboration one of these one day. <laughs> Sorry, Pa, I just, um, um, I just saw the all the questions. I just went back up. I was just like preaching, preaching, and forgot to answer some of the other question. Yay, Juana! Great job, Juana! Let's clap for Juana. Juana, I know you've been working so hard on that Etsy. Keep up, Juana. Do not give up. Keep up. Do little baby step at a time. Congratulations on that first step, Juana. You did the banner. Oh, yes, Roseanne, yes. Um, anybody that hasn't followed Angela, go follow her. That video is really insp inspiring because Angela is like, she came from nothing and she made something out of nothing. So that's what I'm saying. Like, if Angela could do it, all you guys can. Anybody can. Anybody. It doesn't matter your background or where you're from. If you're poor you're, or you used to be a criminal, now you're like clean. Yeah, anybody. Anybody could could make something out of nothing or become a better person, you know. Um, pa, my, oh, uh, Pa, you are far away. You're in the Midwest. That's where my sister Liz is from. So Liz and all you guys in the Midwest. <laughs> I am in, from California, the Sunshine State, and where the sun is. So, yeah. So, but it's okay. We all can link through um through here and through social media, follow each other, um, hang out. <laughs> so pa um I so pa I only have my single needle for like one year and I bought this in 2017. Um it's kind of a, a journey for me. Because I think 2017, I didn't find, I didn't found Angela yet. I think Angela uh, wasn't really like big yet on YouTube. I think Angela took off like in 2019. So I probably found Angela in 2019, like in the summer when I was pregnant and researching like business. So, but I bought this in 2017 and I, um, I started out doing those filthy clips. But I think I might I might let my daughter do those things because those things are kind of fun. Actually, they're fun, and I think it, there's a market for that. So I might I might let my daughter uh, run that shop if I do that Etsy shop. If not, then um, I probably sell like at the craft fair, whatever. But yeah, and then and then I decided to go back to school for like two years, and I stopped like the whole business thing until like the pandemic, and I, I found Angela right before the pandemic, and that's how this all started. But I have this for three years now. So I just I just don't really do much on it. So now I feel like with my YouTube and teaching you guys and sharing my ideas, sharing what I'm working on, I've been putting this machine to use like almost every day now. So which is great um, because it, this thing been sitting around for like the last before 2020. And yeah, I only use it like once in a while. I don't use it often because I, it wasn't for a business. Um, it was for a business, but I, I stopped that business. So, yeah. So that's my little story. But, you know, um, I'm glad that I'm back. <laughs> and I didn't I didn't stop because I almost stopped. But I'm glad that Angela, uh, Angela did her video. So I'm so thankful for Angela. So now I'm going to be um, inspiring you guys. I'm um I'm not successful successful yet, but you know I'm feeling like um my name is already getting out there a little bit. So you know keep going, you guys keep being on social media. Um, that's how you get your name out, okay? Unless like you have like 
family emergency or things like that. <laughs> yeah, Mia, I think I only found her in, um, I think I found her in 2018, but then that time she didn't have many videos, so I didn't watch, to be quite honest, I didn't, I only watched a little bit in the beginning, and then um, I think 2019 is when she started to take off, and when she started to take off, it's like I saw that video where she did How I Make 100K on Etsy or whatever, I think that video was like the one that blew up, and so yeah that's and then i came back to watch her video more and more because i found her in 2018 but i think those were like her, her super old video yeah but it, i didn't like um like wasn't following her yet until 2019. until I like I wanted to do business and then and then I searched on YouTube and I saw that video and I saw her again so then I'm like oh wow like I I watched some of her really old video in 2018 and then yeah but I didn't thought that oh she grew that fast she grew that fast you guys um so that's just really inspiring But don't ever compare yourself, you guys. It's I know it's really hard. Sometimes like you want things to happen fast and always like looking on social media, comparing yourself. But remember, everybody is on their own book, like their own chapter, their own journey. So you can't compare your chapter to something that like you cannot compare your book to their book. Okay, they have their own book. You have your book. <laughs> And you're writing your chapter one right now. I'm writing my chapter one right now. Starting this day, this moment, doing this live with you guys. This is my chapter one. Like, I've been writing this whole year. I've been writing this whole chapter one with you guys. Along Anybody that has been following me since December of last year, that's this is my chapter one of my book. So I'm not going to compare myself to probably, Angela is probably at like chapter 20, 30, whatever. <laughs> And she's on her own. She's writing her own book. I'm writing my own book. Everybody here is writing their own book. So yeah, never compare because we are all writing our own book and it's two different things. So, and this world is so big. I always gonna say that to you guys. Don't ever think that because everybody already doing a border shirts or doing custom sewing, or there's so many people, um, there's there, the world need everybody, you guys. And uh, like Angela always say, one person cannot fulfill a million orders, you guys. Um, or seven billions, or there's like seven billions people on the planet, you guys. So <laughs> one person can't fulfill that. So there's, and many people is not into business. So um, there is a market for everybody or for almost everything, you know? So you're going to hear people say, people always have that question, is it oversaturated? It's always oversaturated because there's many buyers, which is a good thing. So don't let that stop you too. I know that that's one thing that stopped people so much because they always ask, is it saturated? Is it too late? Or should I even do it because is it even worth it? Um, if, it's, if you love it, it's going to be worth it. Doesn't matter that 1 million people is in this market. Um, you need, you are your own boss. You need to make yourself stand out. So don't, don't think like that. If you think like that, that's gonna really uh, stop you. Cause I have think like that for the longest time. It have stopped me for a long time, you guys. And I never got to my dream. And I always go sleep, having that dream in my head and wake up and not living it. So yeah, right now I'm partially living it. <laughs> Um, and I get to wake up and uh, do my craft for a living right now. So, which I'm really happy about that. But before I'm just wake up, never get to do that. And always dreaming that I can do that. So I'm living that dream. I'm living that dream of doing my YouTube now. Um, I get to plan videos and teach you guys and do all these things for you guys while running my Etsy and then planning my other second business. So Everything's coming along, but I'm still at chapter one, you guys. So I'm still on my writing my first chapter.
<laughs> yeah, I I followed Pam for the longest time. Pam, I followed Pam 2014. See, that's why I found out about Morty through Pam. I just never took that plunge. Um, I was too afraid, you guys. So that's why I'm I'm so thankful for Angela. That Angela, like with her Angela personality and with her um, I just love her personality that she's so encouraging. She's always helping many of us that are well, all of us. I'm gonna say many, all of us. She help all of us. So even if it's not direct, it's indirect. She help us like indirect, like in different ways. Yeah. So let me see what Mia say. Oh, Pa, good night, Pa. Yeah, hopefully, uh, yeah, click on my TikTok. Everything's in the description, okay, Pa? If you're leaving, uh, thank you for coming by. <laughs> um, For my channel, I talk about a little bit of inspiration, a little about not giving up, kind of link you guys up with resource. Uh, we share things here, and if you guys know something, share to us. Because on my channel, it's about sharing. Um, sharing is caring, but share what you can. But I do encourage you, if you know something that could help anybody, um, do share because I don't know everything. Um, I'm still writing my chapter one. I don't have any experience. So I share as much as like whatever I have found out there in the wide web, you know, like, and if you guys see anything on Facebook, YouTube that could help anybody, like if you did something or know somebody, like link, Link, yes, can I? I love you guys to share links here. Um, yeah, I'm kind of like, um, my sis Liz, Liz, and myself, we're all we're pretty cool, like, we like to help people as much as we can. Um, and we allow you guys to share your links, just don't do it so much and like spam me, whatever. But once in a while, you guys could come here and do shout out or share people's link, share like resources here. And if share something that you guys think will benefit people and, you know, if you want to share your business, you guys can share here too. Because this channel is all about um, support and linking you guys with resource. But don't, like when we talk about tax, don't take my word for it, okay, guys? Because I'm not a tax expert. I only tell you guys my experience. Um, everybody's tax is going to be different. And I, I'm only telling you guys what I'm allowed to tell you guys um, because that's more like finance stuff. Um, so and don't take people words and don't say that, you know, so-and-so tell you this, so you're doing this. You have to do your due, di due diligence. Got to do a little bit of homework too. Um, yeah. Because we are not like, we're just business owner. I'm not tax person. I'm not um, no professional anything. <laughs> so, yeah. I just talk from my experience, right? So, so you must do your own homework too. Um, okay. Let me cut this. Hey, Naomi, is it Naomi or Na Naomi? Naomi is here. Hey, good to see you. I haven't seen you for a while, Naomi. I know, like, I think you're you're busy playing with your buy. So Naomi got the buy and boarding machine. If you guys are still looking for a multi-needle, um, look into the buy and boarding. That's a really affordable. I know some people don't have good experience with it, but many people ha have good experience with it. So keep your option open. Um, for now, I'm not, you know, the other day, like I was talking to my friend Pia, Pia Piccolini here, um, about getting a second machine, but I have to bypass that because I think if I have that, I'm not going to be able to pursue um, my other um, business goals and ideas. So I decided to put a hole on my border machine. Um, I'm going to wait to have more space or if I move to a bigger house or that has bigger space because right now I only have this room and that the other room. The other room is more like an office storage. So yeah, so I'm like I decide to pursue my other business um, ideas before I jump into like a second more tiny needle because I can't even handle like just the small amount of order that I have. 
<laughs> so I I don't want to deal with that. Yeah. So I I think uh, I made the right choice and talked to P about it. My husband and I decided not to get the second machine anymore. Um. Yeah, that's a good thing that my husband kept me in check because like I just jump. Don't you guys get that? Like sometimes you just want to get all the things, but like my sis Liz here is like was talking in the back of my head. No, I don't need all the things. I don't need all the things. I just need to work with what I have and um, keep moving. Um, when the right time comes, I will get the thing. But this is not the right time to get the thing. <laughs> so, hey, Syrian. <laughs> oh, Roseanne. That's how it is, Roseanne. I think we all knew each other through Angela. Um, like Liz and myself. I think everybody was mentioning my channel or were talking about me on Angela. That's why Liz started to check me out. And then it just started like the domino effect of like through Ember. Like we all like kind of follow each other, like Ember, Cindy McConda, um uh, Catchy. Alicia, the soul crafter teacher, Shayna, like it was just all intertwined. Like and Connie from Scandies, um, I think, and then Naro, and I think I met Naro through, like maybe Angela's live or Ember's live. I can't remember, but and then we all formed this like little. Um, it's, I'm not gonna say like a. It's just more like a group, like a little community group. Um, and to uplift, motivate, but it could also be a lot too, you guys. Um, you guys have to kind of know your time, manage your time. I think I just didn't manage my time wisely. Um, I've been like just um, kind of like hang out too much. <laughs> Liz, it's not that. Uh, sorry, Liz. It's, I love hanging out with y'all, but I just feel like um, I've been um, yeah, putting my time too much into this course. So I. Liz, if you guys see me on Discord, kick me out, okay? This week, push me out Discord because I, I had tons to do, okay? I'm stressed out. So, yeah. So, if you see me, kick me out. Um, kick me out. Or tell me not to talk, okay? Because I, um, I, I've i been um, on Discord too much. <gasps> Oh, Mia, you didn't have to do that, Mia. Thank you for the super chat. I just saw that now. Oh. <laughs> what did Liz say? <laughs> oh, spotted bear. I'm sending you a heart. Thank you. I'm so glad. Um, sometimes I wonder like what I say or if I if any of my video like have inspired or impact anybody. And um, I have two people open the Etsy shop through my link, so I'm so grateful for that. Like I'm just I'm kind of start seeing that my impact start to make a little bit impact on people now. I'm just so and even through the uh analytic on youtube has shown me that yes i am impacting a lot of um people but um so i'm just glad that um you're inspired spotted bear knits and you don't have to be like in the sewing or embroidery like you can do any crafts and be inspired because we're all here to support each other it doesn't have to be crafts or sewing it's something you want to work on yourself even if it's like like Oh, little baby clown, you're here. <laughs> uh, Roseanne, he's uh, 20 months old. He's almost two years old. I have him right after Angela. <laughs> I was pregnant like Angela <laughs> that time. So that's why when I was watching Angela, I'm like, oh, I, I'm having a baby too. <laughs> so I have him right after Angela had Roman. Um, so he's about Roman's age. Yeah, Pia. Yeah, we this core is great. It's just that um I'm on the chat. Pia, you don't know because you're on the you're not on the chat. I am on the chat like every single day, and then and and then like I just want to hang out with the girls, 
and cares what they're doing. And, and so uh, I'm not focusing on myself too much. Like I, I, I've been like um, doing things like, like this shirt. You see that? I got so much procrastination done. <laughs> so yeah. So like I say, I was gonna do this and this thing today, but then like um, I would just like in that black hole of on Discord too much. So that's what I'm saying. Liz, they gotta kick me out if they see me on the chat. Is I'm I'm a little bit behind and really stressed out. So. I need to stick. I need to stick with my agenda, with my um, digital planner. Um, I'm gonna go get a cup of water or something to drink, and I'll be back, you guys. Give me uh, two minutes. I'm gonna be back really quick. Here, guys. Can somebody watch Cloud? Come in. Yeah, I'm watching. Watch it. Okay, come here. Lock the door. I'm gonna eat some. Mama. I'm gonna eat some, okay? Oh, mommy, two is me. Mommy, I have one except I have one, so there's only one more left for you. Oh, Mia. Mia, thank you, Mia. Donut. Mia, I have donut right now. Mama, <laughs> thank you for your super chat. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, I need a little bit of break, so I'm gonna eat a little bit. Um, like. I try to eat really healthy, but you know, someday can't resist like donuts. Oh. Um. <laughs> Liz, Liz caught me. <laughs> Sorry, Liz. I know. I need a little bit sugar. I think I think too much right now. My my brain is like, yeah. With all that preaching, um, I need a little bit sweet. <laughs> um, wait, Roseanne, what what are you guys? Oh, you bet. Um, yeah, for those of you that never use this court, it is a little bit um. Like you had to kind of be on there for a little while, kind of learn your way. Uh, some people have been on there, but they don't know how to work it. Liz, we try really hard to help you guys, but um, just be patient. If you guys join our Discord, um, we will help you navigate a little bit around there. It's really easy once you start like being on there, but it could be a black hole. Like like if like sometimes you just want to hang out with your buddy all the time, and that could like be dementia, dementia, dip mental to your um ah sorry guys my english is not great like it could hurt let's just use the word hurt it's easier i don't want to sound too uh too professional and say all those big words <laughs> it could hurt your um your business a little bit like if you don't if you just like uh sit in the black hole of like social media and discord um yeah that's what i've been doing for a little bit that's why i'm I'm gonna admit I have procrastinated, but then I have I have been um getting on top of my order, so that's the only good thing. But other than doing like minor things for my business, I haven't really done anything. So that's why I um I was like, okay, I know I have some order, but I really have to work on this. So I spend the whole day doing that and planning that because I really want to get that going. Um, and I still have my Christmas in July. I plan to do a ton like four project, you guys, but I only done one so far. I think I'm just gonna throw one in before the end of July and that's it. Um, I'm not gonna do the other two. I feel like, um, yeah, I am a little bit procrastinating. So sorry if like I'm really late on certain things for you guys. Oh yes, yeah, Sarah Ann, it is really overwhelmed. It's that's why I'm saying like if you're on Discord, you you gotta know your limit and what you can handle, and don't um don't try to like engage so much. Like if you get overwhelmed, take a break. Um, I think I got stuck in that black hole, and I try to uh do everything, and yeah, 
so I'm I'm taking a little bit break this week. I will only be on there to check, but I will not be on ch the chat too much. Um, maybe Liz, I think we have to like probably just set one day or two day to be on the chat because it felt like every day, like I it was like like I feel like I become codependent. <laughs> <laughs> but I really need to become independent and um, drive myself away a little bit. Yeah, you bet. It's fun. Um, I was talking to Liz that... Later on, I want to plan like a gig night. Guess what? Uh, we just did a bridal um, shower, virtual bridal shower on Discord. It was so fun, you guys. And I was telling Liz we should have some gig nights. Um, Cause I don't want to like I need. I tell Nara and Liz that I don't want it to be just like business talk and you know, and just talking business all the time. Like it should be like some some weeks should be fun weeks. Um, everybody take turn to like do like a game. Um, I was doing charade the other day for Liz and them. <laughs> I was doing a charade. Yeah. So I was going to tell like we should do like maybe once a month. We alternate but one person host a game. Mm. And for me, I like prizes. So when I'm hosting, I'm going to give prize to you guys. I like to do those kind of games. It's just exciting making you guys want to participate. So we're going to do games in there, um, things like that. You don't, you guys, if when you're hosting, you don't have to do prize. It's just me. I like, to, I'm a, I'm a prize person. Like I like, it just, I just like the energy that the prize give people like to participate and have all these like motivation, you know? Uh -huh. Why are you doing that? <laughs> oh, Rose. Yeah, you guys, I'm eating don't have a coke. I don't know. I need I need some I need some um I guess I need the double shot sugar. So I gotta because I think my brain gets a little bit fried right now. I, I have been preaching too much. Um Um, Marissa and Yvette, I also asked my nine, guess what, my nine-year-old is really good with Discord, too. Like, she know Discord, she know TikTok. I've been asking my nine-year-old. But then, I think I kind of got the hang of it now. So, yeah, those little kids, guess what, like, even a, a eight, a nine-year-old even know how to navigate those. My daughter's like, she's been playing game too much. I think she know more than me. <laughs> no, you, um, Roseanne, because I like to um, give prize because it makes the game really fun. It's like in my husband, like in our family, whenever me and my husband, we do a game for family, we always give either cash prize or gift card. I mean, people don't like, because I don't know what people want. So I always do like Starbucks gift card, gas card, Something like we always like to do that because it makes the game really interesting and people actually fight. <laughs> I have some fights before and um well I don't want I don't want them to fight, but it's just like make them have a lot of energy. Mm. Yeah. Oh guess what? I wanna I wanna tell you guys something. Um okay, so I don't know if you guys watch Darman. I with all my preaching, because I watch a lot of Darman. Darman is like really um on Can YouTube. Me, yeah. Okay, my daughter they watch Darman all the time. So my husband kind of did like a little game about teaching, like um hey, about being like you don't judge the book by its cover, or whatever. So my husband did this little game where he he tricked um he tricked our family. Um, he. They put a bag of rice and a bunch of coins. 
he had put like probably about forty dollar of coins, and he wanted us to guess. He said you can only choose the coin or the rice bag. If you guess the rice bag, then you get the rice. And if you guess the coin, you get the coin. But he didn't. He said you can only choose one. So um, there was people didn't want the rice bag. They were saying, you know, like they don't want to win the um, rice bag because they don't need rice. So. It was only three people, I think four people that guessed the rice bag. I kind of know my husband. He always do like some kind of sneaky things. So I um I guessed the rice bag and um but my one of my family members actually guessed a number above me. He was supposed to be the winner. But then when he asked my husband, um when when somebody won the money, the coin, $40, um, he was like how come she went forty dollar? Like uh, he didn't. He, but my husband was like, "Well, you were supposed to only choose one, and you chose the rice." And he's like, "He's like, then am I gonna win the rice?" My husband's like, "Yeah, you, you, that's all you get. You only get the rice." Uh, he got angry. He was like, "I don't want no rice. I want the forty dollar coin." So my husband was like, "Then you put your guess on the forty dollar." Well, he didn't tell that it was forty dollar, but it was a guessing game. So you're supposed to guess how many quarter was in there. And um, he changed his mind to um, guess the coin because he thought he was just going to win a bag of rice. And so when he changed, uh, my husband said, since I'm the closest one to win the rice bag, um, then I win the rice bag. And then, and then he was like, and then my husband said, there's actually something inside. Um, there was money in there, but he hide it in there. And then my my brother in law got really. He just he was just sad, and everybody was like, "Because you judge the book by its cover, you judge you judge the bag of rice, and so you change your mind. You didn't like take what you have. So the the whole concept is you have to be happy with what you have, um, because the other side is not greener." Or it could be like, don't judge anybody by its cover, the book. Because you you haven't even read or you haven't even touched it, you know? So, yeah. That was just kind of more like a teaching moment. So, it, that was just a little bit talk about game. Um, Yeah. If you guys join, we might do games later. So, I really... um. I thought it was fun when I did the bridal. Sorry, guys, I'm just eating a little bit. Um, I'm a little bit hungry, so I'm eating a little bit um, before I move on to the next thing. So let me check my list. What I I have a list here, what I want to share with you guys. Um, so I already share Mia's fabric. Um, I'm also an affiliation with Mia's um, fabricbond.com. I really link my affiliation link. So Mia, thank you so much for having that. So Mia has a, you can, you, anybody can be um, an affiliate with Mia's website. So you guys can sign up. Mia has a video on that. So if you guys haven't subscribed to Mia, subscribe to Mia. She show you how to sign up. It's really easy. Oh my gosh. The, the Coke and the donut is like making my, um, like it's making me like, feel, I'm going to burp. I don't want to burp on, on live, you guys. I'm gonna try not try really hard. Okay, Pia. Good night, Pia. Thank you for coming by, though, Pia. Good night, Pia. Mm. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Today is more kind of like a chat and prepare my pattern. But I'm gonna eat a little bit here and then and then we're gonna move on. Mm. So I already talk about my future YouTube. It's gonna be more um, live sewing. And I would still do Etsy stuff here and there, but I wanna do like so if you guys want to do this pattern with me, um, I'm going to, I'm going to set up a, I'm totally going to set up a line because if I don't, I will never do it. So I'm going to 
this whole week I'm gonna set aside some time to do that so we could do like a live so if you guys want to do that for like if you guys are have any plan for the fall we all could sew together on the live because I just don't want to do like a more like a talk like this like some once in a while I'll probably do something like this with you guys but I want to do more work <laughs> more work Let me see, somebody's texting me. <laughs> oh, Kathy, thank you so much, Kathy. Oh my God, nobody ever say that to me, Kathy. <laughs> I think um, I'm only patient um like i'm i don't want to make it sound like i'm pretending well but only only my husband he doesn't get my patient like everybody else do <laughs> except for my husband um but then i always listen to him though there's only certain thing that i don't agree with him but i do follow him because he is the head of the household I just have a lot of opinion when when we're discussing, but but usually at the end he always gets the last say. Hey Jeanette. Oh hey Sonia, you're here, Sonia. Mm, you bet. I will link. Um, I will link narrow Discord um, on this live. You can come back to this live, okay, Yvette? I'm going to go to Naro's Discord and then click the link, and I'm all, all post. So I, will, I already have Mia's link. Um, I'm going to have the the sew along pattern if, you, if anybody wants to follow along and make this outfit for their own grandkids or for their kids. I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to link the Discord too. So... When you guys uh, have your Discord, or right now, Liz, somebody, you guys can um, um, put the Discord link. I know the pages went up, so I still have Liz, um, Naro, or Nancy, or Mary, if any of you are still around. You guys can link up the um, Discord, and then I will also put in the description later, too. So, so for those that want to join, because... <laughs> You guys want to um we, we um we get there um like when we're out there we're more closer because on YouTube there's so many people and so um, it's probably hard to manage um like games maybe once in a while I'll play a game here with you guys maybe what one of these days I should do like a little charade thing and you guys guess and then you guys can win like Amazon gift card I love Amazon gift card so I know you guys do too. <laughs> I like doing that. So, uh, Sonia, I am going to be offering size 2T to size A only. Um, I thought about size 10, but I was like, I don't know. I think I will leave that size 10 open. And if any of the people at the market uh, need a size 10, they can um, buy later and I will custom made it for them. But if not, then yeah, because I, I don't want to, I don't want to do a um, like really bigger size, and the pattern only go up to size ten. Yeah, it only go up to size ten. Yay, you vet! Congratulations, you vet! Yeah, join us there because later on I'm gonna be a. Uh, we um, I want to do like a Jeopardy game. Oh, no, no, Jeopardy. Um, family feel. Because if we play Family Feel with the bridal shower, um, it's not on narrow Discord, it was on a different Discord. Like I'm I on like four Discord. So I want to do something like that. Like family feel. Oh my god, little boy, you're back. You're back. 
little claws back. Hey, Chrisetta, can you take him? Hey, no, 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 no. Do not come here. I'm on live. Yeah. Oh, it's like right now all these kids. Sorry, you guys. Yes, Sonia. Um, I know people keep saying that I'm like I'm. I'm not that skinny. <laughs> I'm not skinny. I I do drink and drink like um. Sweet. I try not to. The other, I think I have went for a long time without drinking this. And then I think once you start drinking again, you start to have the sweet tooth. Um, I'm going to, when I go back to like my little uh, routine of ex, like running every day, like I used to be running like every other day or every day. And um, I only drink tea, but now I, I kind of really drink tea. I think I got the sweet tooth again. So I, I'm going to try to stay away when I'm on that, um, Back to my regular routine. So yeah, <laughs> I'm not. It's it's hard. It's hard to um just try to be like like eating in the healthy lifestyle. It's hard, and I know that my husband is in the healthcare and is supposed to be healthy. But you know, there's just so much food out there, you guys. So much food, and I don't know. It's, it's hard to resist food. We love food. <laughs> okay, so let me cut size two. Okay, so... Now I'm going to be cutting this. You guys have any uh, questions or you guys want to share anything? Like any news going on? Like any plan for you guys? Like whether business-wise, family? You guys want to share anything? Go ahead and share. Because um, right now I'm just going to be cutting this because I've been like talking too much. Oh my God, I have like, I have how many sides? So I have two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven size. They actually have a size seven. Normally, um, they don't have a size seven, but this pattern has size seven. So they have to do size seven too. So I have to do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, yes, Sonia. Oh, Sonia, since you missed out, this is my uh, mock-up. So I'm using um, I'm using this. This is from Hobby Lobby. This pumpkin pie. It's all cotton, 100% cotton. And then right here has like some embroidery pumpkin. If you guys want to learn how to do mock-up like this, I'm gonna be showing this and then how to do embroidery mock-up too. Yeah, I promise that, but. I, I've been procrastinating. Oh, and, and this shirt is from Nancy. If you guys like this shirt, Nancy has been um, making all this um, cool adult tea on her uh, adult um, Etsy shop. So if you guys like any of the shirt, so I'm supporting one of my uh, crafty buddy. <laughs> so I bought one of her shirt. So if you guys want to support like Nancy or any of the other lady, like if you guys like what they make, you guys can go to their Etsy shop or talk to them on IG. IG is Instagram. Okay? So for those of you like don't know like the terminology, IG is for Instagram. Um, most of them are on there. You guys can message them if you guys want to ask them anything. Or um, their their email because I think a lot of them has their email too on the description. 
So you guys can contact through email, Instagram. So for this pattern, you guys have to know how to put them together. So there's two diamond. The two diamond is say one C and one C, and that's where you put them overlapping like that. You gotta cut one side and overlap it. That's how you uh, put this pattern together. So that I love VTF pattern, you guys, because a lot of their um, pattern is more like rectangle, and they do a lot of ruffles. I'm gonna show you guys a quick way to do ruffles that I learned. And I know many of you like do the traditional way where you do the, the basting long stitch, but there's a, I'm doing something like that, but then I'm gonna use like a nylon thread. But the nylon thread is so easy to um, pull through, you guys, and ruffle it faster that way. So I'm gonna show you guys that, that um, little tip when I sold this dress. Um, this dress has a ton of ruffle, especially like at the bottom and then ruffle right here. So we're going to be uh, doing that. I am not an expert. Like I might be making a lot of mistakes along the way, but you guys are learning, growing with me and building our own skills. So, or if we have like an expert's interest here, kind of guys, I know that Barb and some other lady uh, that watch watch uh, my YouTube, they are expert. So if they watch my so long, like I, I'm really open to people uh, giving me advice. So if you guys see, I'm doing something. I don't think uh, sewing is anything is wrong, but if like you have a better way of doing things, I'll uh, share that way and that tip with us. Because sometimes certain, certain thing doesn't work for certain people. So it's good to know many different ways to do the same thing because everybody um, everybody brings work differently. <laughs> um, Brittany. Oh my gosh, okay, Brittany. Oh my gosh, yeah, I muscle C and it's crazy. So good luck. Um, well, stay safe and, uh, you know, thank you for uh, stopping by. I appreciate that, Brittany. Yeah, CC, yeah. <laughs> so let me, let me film this a little bit. So it says, I got so much procrastinating done today. I did. I mean, but at least I finished this. And uh, I was so happy that I caught up on my order on Saturday. I'm like, yay. No more order. Like I didn't get order for two days, and I'm like, that's good. Two days, no order, perfect. Like for me to work on my my other things, and like today, I don't know, something happened today, and um, I'm like, gosh, now I'm at a, I'm at, like I have pending orders now. I mean, it's a good thing, but oh, just. Like, I want to go do my sewing, you guys. I've been on that important machine, like, every day. I just miss my sewing. Sorry, important machine, but I'm on you too much. I need to give my other machine love, too, you know. I'm always, always on that thing every day, every day. So that's how I want to offer um, sewing items. So I can be on my serger in my sewing machine and not be all like my uh, embroidered machine all, all day long, all day long. Oh, Nancy, okay, let me check. Sonia, I saw Nancy, like today, Nancy, you did Nancy has been on track. Like I need to be motivated by Nancy because Nancy is able to talk to everybody on Discord and still get her things done. Like me, I can't. Like I have to do one thing at a time. That's why I say I gotta get I gotta let myself like I gotta be a hermit, like listen, what be a hermit for for a little bit. Because I'm just a person, like I cannot do many things at the same time. Which unicorn did you see? 
I saw Nancy did a lot of, um, you see that? Nancy did a lot of mock-up for her outfit. And look at that. She had all the, the holiday coloring book. My goodness, Nancy, you are on the road, girl. You have tons of things listed. Um, which rainbow shirt, Sonia? I didn't see Nancy has a rainbow. rainbow. Is it on her Etsy? But yeah, Nancy also have YouTube too. If you guys can go subscribe to her, Nancy. Nancy Blink is her YouTube name. And she's on Instagram too. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, Sonia, they do. I actually bought the American doll on this size. I'm gonna do matching, like whatever scrap or if I have like um, big scrap that can be made to the doll. I plan to pair the doll dress with this. I think that's gonna be a perfect um, gift for the holiday. So I think I'm not gonna do to, um, I don't know if people would buy like a fall, fall dress uh, for like to match with their dolls. I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably like add a couple, but I feel like they will probably buy more with um, Christmas because they would want to buy it for their kids. Alexa, turn on light. So, yeah. Oh, a tutorial. Okay, Sonia, I want to check that. I think, um, I, I don't know, if, I think Nancy just put up a video, right? Is it Nancy's a video? Got to check it out. Yeah, no problem, Nancy. Thank you, Sandy, for um, adding Nancy um channel. Yes, you guys go subscribe to her. Show her some love. <laughs> and anybody starting YouTube, um, or I'll give you a shout out too. <laughs> or you guys can like link, tell us here, and then I have one of the admin here to link your YouTube because I'm all about supporting you guys, giving you guys that uplift and that motivation. Um, anybody has a YouTube <laughs> or want to start one? <laughs> yeah, Liz, it's okay, Liz. You got to do what you got to do. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Jean <laughs> Jean I think it's because I met Liz and them. Well, before I met Liz, I was already, like, um, doing YouTube on my own. But the thing is, when I start, before I met, I met this whole community, um, it is a little bit intimidating. And you don't have nobody to talk with. It's just, like, you're talking to yourself. But, like, right now, I have the community. Even if I don't know, like, everybody that subscribed to me, I know a handful of them that I feel like I'm actually talking to my friend. That's how I see it. Um, and I know that in the beginning you don't get paid yet. Like you're trying to build your YouTube and it could be really discouraging because you put so much work and so much time and you have got off that fear to do it. Um, like I do see some people like feeling, um, down on that, but that's why you join community and you form community with people and that will actually help you push through to reach that 1,000 subby. Um, it once you pass that 1,000 subby and that uh, watch hour, then yes, it's get really exciting. So like right now, it's um, like Liz and myself, we're already at that um, monetization kind of like mark where we start to be making money. It's not a lot yet, but you know, it's something and it's really exciting. So it's really, even if I don't make anything yet and I'm, I'm, I'm at the beginning stage, it's okay. Like, I'm just going to share what I love. But the main thing is form a community or join a community that think alike and um, like are pursuing kind of similar, kind of like Liz, myself, and Naro and Nancy. All of us are mom trying to make something out of a business, you know, and building our little empire, <laughs> like build, uh, writing our book. Um, 
Yeah, so that you have to find those kind of people. And when you do YouTube, you won't feel so intimidating because they're always there to support you. Even like you have, like I almost at 2000 now, I'm probably like 1800 now. And I don't know everybody. I don't know 1800 of everybody, but I know like probably a handful that um, kind of make me feel like I'm actually sharing, like just sharing um, things with them or teaching them things. Like I'm talking to my friends. So yeah. Oh, Diane Robinson. That's awesome. Um, can you guys uh, kind of type in your name of your YouTube? Is your YouTube your name, Diane Robinson? Like whatever your username. Um, you guys, yeah, you guys go subscribe to Diane Robinson and Jeanette if you guys already have your YouTube. Yeah, if, if that's your YouTube name, like,